Hi everyone, let me talk a little bit about webhooks. If you know what they are, just keep the first minute. Well, when I first heard about webhooks, I thought it would be an overwhelming concept that I have to learn. But actually, it is very, very easy to get a grasp of it. A webhook is a way for a service or application to provide other services and application real-time information as they happen. So, Basically, a webhook is a post request to a specific URL. That URL is set up to receive this request and handle the data. Because we want to notify our application and create a new ticket in Freshdesk when a new bug her task is added, this is the perfect tool we can use. Thankfully, Bucker does have such webhook. Let's use it to achieve what we want. In order to manage these webhooks, we will have to communicate with Bucker through the API. And for that, we will need a couple of things. First, an API key. We have one already. Second, a software or tool that is capable of constructing requests and analyzing responses. We're going to use a nice little tool for this called Postman. And of course, we will need to set up our application to handle receiving these requests via a specific URL. We should go ahead and set up a new controller to handle this request. Just create a new controller in the controllers directory. We should call this API controller. This is a simple controller, so I'm going to speed things up here. We are only going to define one method and dump the request for now. We'll come back later to finish this. Next, we will have to define a route to this method. Open up your routes.php file and let's define this simple route. It will be API slash task and store task is the action. I think we can test this. I'm going to open Postman, just type your URL and API task and send the post request. And yes, we got back the request. We should register a new webhook with Bucker using Postman. In order to do that, we will have to use a basic authentication. Let's get the URL to the webhooks endpoint. And we are going to send a GET request to this URL in order to receive the currently registered webhooks. As you can see, we have a couple here, but we will have to add ours. Let's do that now. We'll have to send a POST request to the webhooks endpoint containing the name of the event we would like to subscribe to, and the target URL, which in this case should be our URL we defined. But there is a slight issue though. Our application is in our local Vagrant machine and Buckhard will not be able to access it. For such cases, I always use request bin. This tool gives a unique URL, which we can use now, and will collect the request made to it, so we'll be able to inspect it later on. Then I can manually make the same request to our application with Postman. This is only for the time while our application is under development. We can go ahead and create this webhook. As you can see, it worked. And Buckhart has associated an ID with this webhook. Just remember, we will change the target URL once our application has a public URL. Let's create a new task and see if this webhook gets triggered. So this is just a test and create the task, head over to request bin and refresh the page. You will see that this is what we've actually triggered now. We can send the same request to our application via Postman and start working on how to process this data. We will do that in the next part though. If you enjoyed this video, just give a thumbs up. You can subscribe to my channel and that way I will know that you wanna see more tutorials.